Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to check the setback of a particular building as per the bylaws. So today we'll check the setback of any building as per the bylaws of Odisha. So if you want to check the setback as per the by your bylaws, then you can request us or send us the bylaws by email. So now let's get started. So first of all, what is setback? Setback is the distance which has been left from the boundary to construct the building. So suppose we have a 30 feet into 30 feet plot. So let's take it. So 30 feet, comma, 30 feet. So this is a 30 feet into 30 feet plot. And let's take a setback that is the distance from the boundary as 2 feet. So we'll take a setback of 2 feet to construct the building. So now as you can see the outer portion this one if we just change this color to anything red so this red one is the plot area and this white one is our building area and what is setback setback is the distance which has been left from the boundary to make the building let's say the setback from the left side is your two feet setback from the rear side if it is the front if it is the rear back side so it is two feet and setback from the front side is your two feet and setback from the right side is also your two feet so this is your front and the front is determined by the direction of the road so if you have like the road here along this uh, let's take a 20 feet road so this is your road this is your front side with a setback of two feet rear setback that is the, or the back setback of two feet left setback of two feet right setback of two feet but you know how to determine how much we need to provide setback as per the bylaws so we'll see that with the help of an example so let us just check out the our odisha gadget or, or the bylaws of odisha and we will first check about what is written in the about the setbacks so in page 46 you can have that so here it is written minimum setbacks for non high rise buildings the setback table has been given and and in page 49 you can find the minimum setbacks for high rise buildings so these are the two types of setbacks which has been given so now you need to understand what is high rise and what is low rise so the definitions are different as per you know different gadgets so if you go to just uh, page number 8 and then you can find the definition of the high rise building so high rise building means a building whose height is 15 meters or more measured from the average level of the center line the street on which the site abuts so the building height if it's more than 15 meters and or more then it is high rise building so we'll go back to this page number 46 to check it out plot size has been given and uh, you know the front setback has been given and you know it depending on the plot size the setback has to be given so let's take a plan we'll take this plan which we had made earlier this is 30 feet into 30 feet so it's basically 900 square feet and it has a 20 feet wide road in the front so let's check what should be its setback so since it's in meters or square meters so we need to convert 900 square feet into square meters for that you can simply convert 900 divided by 3.28 enter divided by 3.28 so 900 divided by 3.28 square it's 83.655 so 83.655 is coming under this category that is up for plot size of 40 to 100 square meters so and you know the setback which has to be provided if the abutting road width so the road width is 20 feet and if you convert this 20 feet into your meters so it will be 20 by 3.28 and it will be 6.09 so 6.09 comes less than 9 meters that is the uh, road width so we will have to provide a setback front setback of 1 meters and we don't need to look at this because this is for higher road widths and the rear setback we don't need to provide any setback in the rear side and we don't need to provide uh, any setback on the other side as well so if we were to use the maximum of the area uh, which has been given here so we'll provide we had to provide a one meter setback that is three feet three in setback in the front side 
and we don't need to provide any setback on the left right and also the rear side so as you can see here so this is this is the uh, setback which has been provided in the uh, rear side and the setbacks which has to provide it in the other side that is the left and right so the other side basically means the left and right so if we go for higher plot widths and you can find the uh, setback also you know uh, increases the higher the plot plot width the setback also increases so like that we can check the setbacks of your uh, non high rise building that is building up to 15 meter less than 15 meter and also we can check the uh, setbacks of our high rise building so for the high rise building we the height of the building the height of the building is also important because uh, the exterior space to be left on all sides is determined according to that so depending on the height suppose if, if it is 16 meter then we have to take uh, extra open spaces on all sides front rear and also the left and right six meters so like that we take our setbacks so friends hope that you found this video useful and if you want more such videos you can comment and if you want to make a video on your state bylaws you can also send them by our mail to team at the rate civilcenter.in so that's all for today bye bye